It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you can see on a two-word screen. I like to give my unique perspective because after... 46 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and like to get irritated about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to South Korea. Got some plays over in South Korea this past week. Gracias, gratitude, told her about. In South Korea, I was at an Asian restaurant this past week, and I got to try kimchi for the very first time. It was my first time trying kimchi. Let me tell you something. It was fantastic. It was great. I liked it. It was pretty good. I was impressed. So, you know, I was in the restaurant. I'm there. Someone says, you should try this kimchi. I was like, why not? I'm here. Let's try it. And I tried it, like I said, and it was fantastic. So, awesome, South Korea. You guys are doing great stuff over there. Got some fantastic food. That kimchi, awesome. And just FYI, back in the day, was cool to be a radio DJ. But never got a job. I think I never got a job because I just didn't have the passion. If I just would have had the passion, maybe that would have enabled me to become a radio DJ, but I didn't. It allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Something to debate might be true, might not be true, but I said it on the internet, so it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts. Not facts, true, false, propaganda, fake news, the matrix, TV, radio, internet, newspaper, books, audiobooks, ebooks. I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. So when you're online, just be aware, just watch out. Anyways, I could ramble all day, but I won't. Let's get right to the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, the holidays are almost here. And you know what? You might need some presents. Do you need some presents? You might, and if you need some presents, the cabinet got you covered. Just go over and check out our existing fictions as a store, where you will find a lot of unique, cool, exciting, interesting items. And if you get these for your loved ones, they'll be like, yo, this is so great. This is so fantastic. I love this gift. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. It's so lit. It's so fire. It's so flame. They'll probably say that. So they'll be happy. So if you need some presents, we got you covered. Go to the Existent Fictions at the store. Check it out. I'll put the link below. Now, let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. And we just hit episode 500. Uh, We have 500, bro. 500. 500 podcasts. It is absolutely crazy it is absolutely madness i started these podcasts back in 2014 my life my mindset was so different then i started the journey of going up to a microphone talking about movies tv sports and flicks and learned the craft of podcasting just by putting in the hours putting in the work go listen to episode one he'd be like bro you kind of sucked yeah it's real when you do something for the first time, a lot of times you suck. But if you just keep putting in the effort and the work, you get better. Just go listen to episode one and listen to all other 499 and you will see the evolution of the podcast skills by yours truly the captain. You're like, bro, if you did that, so can I. Yes, you can. Just go do one and then do two and then three and then four and then five and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And all of a sudden you got 500 and all of a sudden you may have... Possibly a yellow belt. <laughs> we start with a white belt. Maybe I'm a yellow belt now. Maybe a red belt, green belt, black belt. I don't know, but I know I'm not a white belt no more. We have leveled up. We're a little bit better than we were. And that's what we can ask for. 
So yeah, episode 500, we're here. There will be cake. I'll share the pictures on Instagram and check them out. See my cake with 500 on the cake because we are celebrating 500, bro. And thanks to all you guys who've been along for the journey. I see a lot of you guys out there that are regulars. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate it. Gracias, gratitude. You know, we get plays all over the globe. So anyways, enough celebrating 500. We're going to just move with the podcast like we normally do. It's just a regular. It's special, but it's also a regular day. We don't stop working because we hit 500. We keep going. And this week, we're going back to Tulsa. Bro, I love Tulsa so much. I keep going back. I told you guys I want to stay at the Mayo. I'm going to be staying at the Mayo in Tulsa because Tulsa just seems so exciting. I'll be honest, before recently, Tulsa wasn't even on my radar. But by watching the show Tulsa King, all of a sudden I'm falling in love with Tulsa. Like Tulsa is just a beautiful place. And one of these days, I will be staying at the Mayo. That's going to happen. I'm pretty sure it will. So anyways, let me get into Tulsa King, Token Joe. But before I get into that, just a couple things. First of all, there will be spoilers. And second of all, I do own some shares in the parent company of Paramount Plus. So I just wanted to make you aware that I do own some shares to be clear and transparent. So now that I've told you that, let's get into Tulsa King, Token Joe. So this week, Dwight's got to leave Tulsa and go visit his past. You know, Dwight had been away for like, I think, 25 years. And when he got out, he went straight to Tulsa. But one of his family members, his brother, has passed away. So he's got to go back to New York. And when he's back in New York, a lot of old family members are there. A lot of people from the past are there. Let me tell you something. I just experienced this about three years ago. Very similar situation. Now, I wasn't away for 25 years because I was in joints. But I hadn't seen a lot of people for a long time. And I was at a funeral. And I kind of could relate to what was going on there. Because, you know, as time goes by, we just kind of gravitate away from people, just how it works, at least at least in, in my world experience has been that way. They're just not as close as maybe we used to be. And we get to see that with Dwight. And be honest, because Dwight was away, a lot of people kind of aren't really happy with him. A lot of the family members are not. They just say, they just say hey, you kind of left us. And I could I could totally understand. I could totally relate with that. So that's what's going on with Dwight. Dwight's got to go to New York and um, you know deal with his, his brother passing away. Also, back in Tulsa, you know how there was a fight over balloons and money? You remember that? Well, that fight is not over yet. People are still mad. They had a fight over the balloons and money, and they're still angry. Sometimes when there's conflict, it kind of carries on for some time. right? You may have one altercation. You may fight over balloons and money, and it ain't over just that one fight. Then people are still mad. They still want to fight. They still want to keep it going. And that can go on for a long time. Apparently, back in Tulsa, the guys that Dwight's crew got into it with, they're kind of still mad. <laughs> the guy is still mad. They're a little angry. And so Dwight made his move. And now the opposition, the other guys, are making their move. And this kind of thing can go on for years, on and on. I make my move. You make your move. And it just keeps going back and forth. Like, it can go on forever. It may never stop. But this is how it goes. They can move. They make a move. They can move. They can move. It's like a game of tennis, back and forth, back and forth. So that's what happened. But did you really think that would have been the end of it? One little scuffle and that'd be it. No, that's not how it works. Uh, That's not how it works. So another fine episode, more serious episode. But uh, what I want to do this episode is get into one specific thing about the show that I noticed and I want to go a little bit deeper on. And that is this. In the episode, Dwight had been gone for a long time. And because he was gone... A lot of people kind of mad about that. Because he was away, he lost the time with his loved ones. The time to spend with loved ones. Now, as I've gotten older, I've come to realize the value of time. Time is extremely valuable. It is very valuable. How you spend your time is valuable. If you learn anything from these podcasts, from this podcast or these podcasts, learn or, or understand or become aware of or go deeper. Don't just listen to me. I'm a podcaster. But think about yourself. Go deep. Look into it. Just really think about time itself and how you spend that time and who you're giving that time to. Where's your time going? What are you doing with your time? Who are you giving it to? What do you spend your time thinking about? What do you spend your time watching, listening to, looking at? Where is it going? Because once you spend your time, bro, it is gone. There's no refilling it. You can't get more. You can't make more. You can't get it out the bank. Once it's gone, it is gone. I am 46. 
I ain't getting back those 46 years. They are spent and gone. Like facts. There is no power on earth that's going to give me that time back. It is gone. And that applies to absolutely everybody. Right? You can get back a lot of things. A lot of things you can get back on planet earth. But time is not one of them. Time is that valuable. It may possibly be the most valuable thing we got. So if you are not already aware of this, you don't even think about it. Think about time and how you spend it. Because I'm serious, bro. It is very valuable. And it just adds up quickly. It goes by fast. And next thing you know, you just spent it doing a bunch of this. A bunch of that. Like, bro, I just spent all that time doing this. I got nothing out of it. I mean, it happens. It took me a long time to become aware of that. When I was younger, my perception of time was way different. I didn't appreciate how much abundance of time I had. And I just woke up at 40 one day like, bro, I was just 28. Where'd it all go? So I'm serious. I, it felt like that. I felt like I was rumpled still till I was asleep. I woke up at like 40 something like, what happened? Where'd all those years go, bro? I don't even know. It was like craziness. So the lesson I learned from watching Tulsa King this week is, bro, understand how valuable your time is and take that time and spend it wisely, right? Spend it on enjoying yourself. Spend it with loved ones. Spend it on learning. Spend it on growing. Spend it how you like, because however you spend it, once it is gone, it is gone, bro. And like I said, there's no getting it back. So pay close attention. Take time to thoroughly decide, how am I spending my time, bro? Like seriously, I just told you I did 500 podcasts, right? That's a lot of time spent. I felt that was a good spending of my time, right? But there was other things in the past I did for long periods of time that kind of just thought like, eh, waste of time, right? And I'll never get it back. It's not coming back, bro. It's not. And that's, that's, that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. When you find out how much time you wasted doing certain things that were just not leveling you up or growing or expanding you or, or you weren't getting out of what you wanted, bro. Seriously. So, Dwight is wrestling with that. Yo, he made some choices, did some things, and it cost him like 25 years. And his family and loved ones felt the effect of his absence. And they're a little bit mad, sad, emotional all over the place because he was absent for so long. So hold your loved ones close. Spend as much time with them as possible if you can. Because I'll tell you what, I had some loved ones and they're gone now. And as much time as I spent with them, I just wish I had more. And I'll never get it back. They're not coming back. They're gone. I just thought about this morning, actually. One of my loved ones is gone. She's not coming back. That time I had is there, but it's gone. There's no more talking. There's no more texts, no more phone calls, no more hugs. It is gone, bro. So appreciate and value the time you have with human beings and people you love and care about because they can be gone in a minute. Yeah, so that was a lesson from this episode of Tulsa King. Right. I watch all these TV shows like Star Trek, Tulsa King, whatever, and I just look for what we can learn from it, right? Because this podcast is all about expanding minds and growing and leveling up, right? And we use a tube and a screen to grow and learn, right? So if we're going to watch these shows, we might as well learn a little something as well, right? So that was my lesson. That's what I learned from Tulsa King. It's all about time, bro. Maximize your minutes. Make the most of every day, bro, because we are not promised tomorrow. That is facts, unfortunately. I don't like to say it. I don't even like to believe it, but it is true. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Tulsa King was dope. Go watch it on the Paramount Plus app. And I want to thank you guys for joining me at episode 500. 500 episodes. It's absolute madness. It's absolute crazy. Thank you very much. And here's to another 500. Let's go. Let's expand minds. Let's grow. Let's go to new levels. Let's achieve. Let's believe. Let's handle the business. Let's do what's necessary. Let's walk the line of madness to become the baddest. Let's evolve, not devolve. Let's go. Let's get it. Boom. And thanks for joining me one more time. And until next time, we'll see you. That which does not kill us makes us stronger. Frederick Nietzsche. Till next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.